Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily E7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the minimum depth and minimum width of the simply supported and cantilever beam. So here we can see that this is a beam, maybe of the reinforced concrete beam, supported by two columns. Here this is the first column and this is the second column. So this is a simply supported beam where the beam is supported by the two supports. And we are interested to, find, interested to find out the minimum depth of the beam, the D, the depth of the beam and the minimum width of this beam. So we have to find this according to the ACI 3.18.14. So they provided some formulas to find out the minimum depth of the beam. That is, if this is the length of the beam, for example, this is the length L of the beam. So we can find out the depth of this, the minimum depth of this simply supported beam equal to the L divided by 16. Now for example, the length of the beam is, let's suppose it is 8 meter. So the 8 divided by 16, we got here 0.5 meter. So if we change this to millimeter, we got 500 millimeter. So it means the minimum depth of this beam should be equal to the 500 millimeter. According to the ACI 314, if the beam length is 8 meter, then its minimum depth should be 500 millimeter. Similarly, the minimum width of the beam, according to the ACI, the minimum width of the beam is equal to the D divided by 1.5, where D is the depth of the beam, minimum depth. So D was 500 millimeter here. So 500 millimeter divided by 1.5. So we got here 333.3. Three. So it means 333 millimeter. So 333 millimeter should be the minimum width for this simply supported beam. So these two equations are used to find out the minimum depth and the width of the beam according to the ACI. Now for the uh, cantilever beam, we also have some uh, equations to find out the minimum dimensions. So if we have cantilever beam, for example, in this case, the beam one end is fixed. For example, this end of the beam is fixed with the column. So this is known as the cantilever beam because this end is free. The right end is free. There is no support while the left end is fixed. So this is a cantilever beam. So according to the ACI 3.18.14, the a formula to find out the a depth of the beam, is equal to the L by 8. Before it was L by 16, now it is equal to the L by 8. So again, if you have this length of the beam is equal to the 8 meter, so the depth of the beam is equal to the 8 meter divided by 8, so we got here 1 meter or we can say 1000 millimeter. So the minimum depth of this beam will be equal to the 1000 millimeter. And similarly, how to find out the minimum width of the beam for the cantilever beam? It is again in the same way, which is equal to the D divided by 1.5. Now our depth is minimum is 1000 millimeter. So 1000 divided by 1.5, we got here 666.6 millimeter. So the minimum width for this beam is equal to the 666.6 millimeter. So this is the way how to find out the minimum dimension for the beams, for the simply supported beam and the cantilever beam. Also, ACI some provided some other formulas for the one in continuous in both in continuous beam for one in continuous. For one in continuous beam, they provided the formula of L divided by 18.5, where L is the length of the beam and for both in continuous beam, where both end are continuous for both in continuous beam they provide a formula of L by 21 so where L is the length of the beam so there you can find out the minimum dimensions minimum depth and width of the beam uh, so this is this lecture was to find out the minimum depth and width of the beam and hope you guys understand this lecture and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos Thank you for watching our video.